Hi everybody, Father Bill Holsinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And I'm recording this actually, again, not on Friday, but on Tuesday. Uh, and it's, uh, well, it's almost, it's almost eight o'clock now. And look, it's still blue out, and the sun is just starting to set, st starting to set. This is called the golden hour. This is the hour often photographers and other people uh, love to take photos because the colors are then changed. The, you know, the, fract the refraction of the light of the sun through the, the atmosphere gives a more golden look. And I kind of, kind of golden looking right now, if you can tell. <laughs> I'm also wearing my, uh, oh, my phone's in the way here. Let's do this real. My James Webb Space Telescope T-shirt. And uh, I, <laughs> I'm thinking about this and I'm going, this is basically a time machine. As we look through the telescope, we are looking back in time. The further away something is, the longer the light took to get to us. Think about it. things have been traveling billions of light years to travel to telescopes. So the light, the photons hit the sensors or our eyes. We're looking through actually a, which is an eyepiece on a telescope to die in the back of our retina to see these things. So time is, Time is uh, an amazing thing. Normally we're used to seeing people and they're just instant. I ask you a question, you ask me back. But with Zoom, we introduced some time lapse, right? You probably had a Zoom call uh, during the pandemic where, right? Uh, there was some lag of conversation or timing with the conversation as well. That happens uh, with technology, but also it happens in, in real time. The closer we are the, to each other, the more we don't notice this, but the further away, for example, if you were standing on the sun, which you can't do, but if you were, and you spoke to me, and I suppose it could actually travel at the speed of light, which sound speed of sound is not that fast. But I suppose it could be transmitted through the speed of light. It would take eight minutes to get to me. And then I'd have to think about it and then talk back to you, send it back to you uh, again at the speed of light. And that'd be another eight minutes. So it would be 16 minutes just to have a conversation if one of us was near the sun and the other one was here on earth. That's crazy, right? Well, another thing that is well strange about time is that, well, last Thursday, and I'm gonna, this is Tuesday. So yesterday, when you watch this, this is Friday, was actually Ascension Thursday. And through many places in the world, they celebrate this as the 40 days before the final, or 40 days after, I should say, uh, Christ's resurrection and about 10 days before Pentecost. Well, because lots of people don't go to that solemnity, since it would be a holy day of obligation, uh, the many, many dioceses, in fact, most dioceses, have trans, uh, translated it or transferred it, I should say, to Sunday. And so this Sunday is Ascension Thursday, where we, or Ascension Sunday, where we hear about Christ ascending into heaven and then he had to do this so that he can give us the Holy Spirit. But it will be truly 50 days after Easter when we celebrate Pentecost, the day, the celebration when Christians receive the Holy Spirit in a way that is compelling uh, and has now driven the church. Like the, it's considered the, bat, the birthday of the church, actually. And that's a, a, a wonderful thing to celebrate. So a question for you is how is the Holy Spirit preparing you in time to live out this life, right? This weekend, we will he hear about the ascension of the Lord. And as they're gazing upwards when Christ left, they were kind of left speechless. Well, how about us? Are we speechless? I hope not. I hope that we are busy with proclaiming the gospel. And that doesn't have to be you're standing on a, in a street corner preaching the gospel in that regard. It could be simply by including what you heard at mass with a, in a conversation with people or just sharing with people that, you know, you went to mass or uh, maybe in the morning you were having prayer time. And when you're in a conversation with somebody, you might say, well, you know, uh, this morning I was uh, praying about something and, and, you know, so notice how you've introduced that kind of stuff. It's not about showing how righteous we are. It's showing that that is a value to us. In fact, if anybody claims that that's being some kind of way self-righteous, just let them know that you're praying because you need it. You need God in your life. And the best way to have God in our life uh, is to be praying, right? That's just the normative way we have any relationship is by having a conversation. And so that's what we need to be doing, having a conversation. So prepare yourself this weekend, beginning on the Holy on Ascension Sunday, to prepare yourself for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit as Pentecost arrives a week later. 
And God bless you folks, and I will see you at church. Deacon Brett is on vacation. In fact, almost half of the office is gone because of the vacations. I will be actually on vacation after uh, this Sunday, just for a few days at uh, Shampooey Park with some family. But I will be back later in the week. Take care, everybody. See you at church. Bye-bye.